Hey, this is Brian Stillman at CES 2020. We're roaming the floor, the chains are cut, we're out of the studio, and we are here with Wallbox. Wallbox is showing off their Quasar. It's a bi-directional charger for electronic vehicles, and you guys just won the best of CES 2020, right? Yeah, yeah, we're super excited. It's our first show. We're a company out of Barcelona. We were founded just five years ago, but in short span of time, we've gone from a leader in Europe to opening our market in China, and now coming stateside to introduce new products like this bi-directional charger as the first of its kind in the world. Allows you to charge your car, but also take that energy of the car and use it for whatever consumption you need around the home, like your lights, your washer dryer, or even send that energy back out in the grid if you have a utility company that's willing to pay you for that energy. So what's so different about that? Is that why is that something we haven't seen uh, from anyone else yet? Well, because it actually requires you to do a lot of uh, conversion within the unit itself. And so normally, bi-directional charging used to take place with really large refrigerator size units, very costly in the tens of thousands, and normally in fleet depots, a lot of cost, and typically as part of pilot program. But we really wanted this technology to scale because we feel this is a solution and another option for allowing you to choose what energy you want to use when. And so we miniaturized this technology, made it available for the first time in the home, and now we're launching this product here. How do you, uh, how do you scale that down? How did you make that something that works in this kind of uh, setting? We have a couple patents on the materials behind this, so they're able to take uh, much higher power and a much smaller footprint. We also have some uh, IP related to some of the frequency and the conversion, and so that allows us to have high efficiency and a really small footprint. So that allowed us to shrink it down. Also, you see there's no fans, there's no cooling mechanism. It's almost as uh, small as your conventional home charger, but it has that added feature that none other has, which is allowing you to utilize that energy back upstream in the home, allowing you to choose what energy to use when. Um, now, how, how does it feel to break out, you know, five years, you come in, you come in with this product, obviously it's a hit, people are loving it. Uh, what's that mean for, for Wallbox? No, for us, it, it couldn't be a better market entry. You know, we're here because we're introducing the company and the products to the U.S. market. Uh, our intention is to come come here, uh, have, have a great market for this, working with utilities, with automakers, uh, with distributors, and we've seen a lot of interest here at this show. So this really helps us go on hyperdrive, really get the name out there, really get the technology out there, and ha start having some discussions about how we can put this in place here in the States. Now let's say I'm an electronic car owner and I want something that's in my home. Uh, is the unit available right now? So this is just started shipping in Europe. We're putting it through all of the certifications in the US and this will be available by year's end for the US. Do you have a price in mind yet? We have a target price of around $4,000 for this unit. Very cool, very cool. Um, we're seeing a lot more electric cars on the road. Obviously, the trend is towards even more moving forward into the future. Uh, what does that mean for, uh, for Wallbox? Where do you see the trends going in terms of charging, in terms of electronic vehicles? Right. I think this is actually part of that solution in a mass adoption scenario. There's a lot of folks that say one of the barriers of EV adoption is what happens when everybody has an EV? What's going to happen to the grid? Is it going to collapse? Uh, is there enough generation to support all these cars? With technology like Quasar, you don't have to worry about that because some cars can be contributing to the grid, other cars might be utilizing from the grid. And so you're actually changing the dynamic of electric cars. Instead of being a problem, they're part of the solution to a more stable grid, also a more sustainable grid because you can choose when you're storing energy or when you're taking energy from your car instead of the grid if it's being generated in a, in a more uh, dirty way, let's say, or a more sustainable way. You can make selections based on this. And so we really think that this is part of that transition to say we're not just about charging but about energy management sustainability. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, congratulations on the win. Pleasure. That's great. Um, bringing you more products throughout CES. This is Brian Stillman with Be Terrific.